Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Hope I have, hope everyone has had a great Thursday. Beautiful Thursday, right? Beautiful weather out today. Nice, wasn't too hot, wasn't this, this great weather in New Jersey, right? I want to give our shout outs to the people in Florida that's going through what they're going through. God bless you guys, man. May you guys get your stuff together and recover. You know, hopefully the, the government will give them guys some assistance and be building over there, over there by Tallahassee. Well, this is Florida, where we've got with the hurricanes over there, the Bay Hurricanes. They're trying to come up to the Carolinas now. You guys be safe out there. Don't be no heroes. Don't try to drive through no water, because you know what? Drive through water. The, the, the water is used deep than what you think it is. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, everyone. Truly appreciate you guys subscribing, hitting the like button, sharing, sharing with your friends, uh, and hitting the bell. Because you know when you hit the bell, every time we upload, you guys are going to see it firsthand, right? Dougie, Dougie just dropped another one. Like I always tell you guys, we're always going to always make sure we have positive content on the channel. Has to be positive, guys. Like I said, there's enough negativity in the world today that we got to put much more drama, too much drama here already. So we got to put positive stuff out here, right? Amen. Uh, shout out to uh, the ones that are always watching, man. The, the Bobby Hoffman, the Tom Stasels, the, the, the Kenny Brunsons, the, uh, the Billy Burkett, the Kenny Burkett. Uh, Don Campolupo, all the ones watching the channel. Thank you guys. Too appreciate you guys. Brother Granger, thank you for watching the channel. Appreciate you guys. Brother Spalletti, thank you. Sister Martinez, Mar Mar Sister Michelle, thank you. Sister Major, thank you for watching the channel, everyone. Truly appreciate you guys. Shout out to Eric Williams. Eric will be feeling better, my brother. Get your rest in there. Everyone's praying for you, brother. Everyone's praying for you. So it's just you, you, you worry about you. So I'm worrying about everyone else, and you worry about you, you get better, right? You get your rest so, so you get so you can heal properly, right? Again, thank you guys for subscribing. CMD stand up, CMD stand up. This is why we've been talking about guys, making sure that we get our physicals, man. Make sure we get out there and get exercise going on. I don't care if it's just walking, right? We got the blood flowing. Key thing is getting the blood flowing. See, what, what happened, everybody starts saying they're going to do something, right? It, it started out real good for about a week or two. And after that, they'll fall by the wayside. That's how it goes. Because most people are not disciplined enough to keep working out, right? To keep training. Like I said, you don't have to be no big time training, but just movement, right? Movement and watching what we put into our bodies, right? Again, today, what, what did we have today? We had our beet smoothies, right? Everybody keep, oh, beets, oh. Guys, it don't taste like that. Believe me, if it was nasty, I wouldn't be tasting it, right? But we know it's good for us, and we make, we, we, and we make it work, right? Make it work with the beets, the kale, the peanut butter, the bananas. Right? The blueberries, a little cinnamon, protein powder, diamond, excuse me, uh, diet cranberry juice. Guys, put it in the blender, hook that piece up. Remember, you don't want it like a, you don't want it like a, uh, a juice. You don't want to be juicing it. You want it as a smoothie. So you can, so, so you can, so you can swash, wash it around, swap, wash it around your mouth, right? Put it on your tongue. Remember, nitro oxide forms underneath our tongue. So this is why we want the nitro oxide to go through our body so that the nitrates turn into nitro oxide. And what they're going to do, they're going to expand our blood vessels, right? This is why we do what we do, right? This is what keeps the blood, this is what keep the blood flowing, right? This is why you see when we don't have working out, we, we, the, 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 we're bleeding, excuse me, we're, we're sweating crazy. But the blood's flowing. That's what we want. We want that blood flowing, guys. This is why we train. This is why we do the same. It has to be consistent, right? If you, if you want to be great, if you want to be healthy, we have to be consistent in what we do when we train, right? We gotta be consistent, guys. So you get oh, I do it for one week and do it two weeks. No. We always say, don't tell me that you're working out so you've been in the gym three or three or four months at one time. Then you can say, No, what? I've been working out for a minute. Now that you've been there three or four days, you wanna come tell me, hey man, Dougie, I've been working out. For example, I'm saying, how long you been in there? Two weeks. That don't count. Give me three or four months consistency, then we can say, okay, that's a start, right? But you have to want this, right? You have to want this stuff, guys. But this, this is our health. We're doing buys today. In fact, we, we got to keep these guns up, right? With the buys today, remember we always say age is nothing but a number, guys. Age ain't nothing but a number. So don't hear let people tell people, man, you're getting old, man. Why are you working out, man? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? So you're working out because you want to live, right? This is why we work out. Because we want to live, right? We already on our fifth set already of, of uh, buys. We'll keep, we'll keep the guns. Strong, then keep the blood moving, right? Keep the A1C down, and keep that testosterone level up, right?
Shout out to Gala to Elijah. Nice meeting you today, Elijah. It was great meeting you today. Keep doing a great job that you're doing with them children teaching. God bless you. Great job. We have to keep, God put emphasis on this. Training. You got to train every day. At least try getting in three times a week. Right? And watch it, excuse me, watching your diet. Right? Watching what we, make sure we get that water intake, right? You want to keep me drinking? Well, water, right? Drink my water. If you're going to do the good work, try to work. Every half hour, you're taking the sips or whatever. Boom. At least you know you're getting it in, right? But you got to make a, a conscious effort to doing it. See, people always believe that heart attacks can't happen to us. Strokes can't happen to us. No, it can't happen to me. It just happens to the other people. If you're human, it can happen to you. If you don't take care of yourself. You ain't trying to work out. You're not trying to eat right. But it's just gonna happen to you. This is all mental. All this workout stuff is mental, right? We always say that that the working out is, is 90% mental and 10% physical. It's hard mental to get up and say, you know what? I got a job to do, I got kids to raise, I got food to cook, and still get your workout in. Have to get it in, guys. Have to get it in. It's a must. Have to get it in. If you want to live, if you want to be functional, right? Not the way you're just hanging on. If you want to be functional, this is what we got to do. If you want to be functional and don't have no mouth wiping right your behind, this is what you got to do. We got to train. Take time out for you. You got to love you. Before you, love, before you start loving someone else. You feel me? You can't love yourself. You can't, you can't love anybody else if you can't love yourself, guys. I mean by loving yourself, meaning by you getting up and going to the gym. This is going to help you physically. Oh, this is mess mental. Brother Strider, what's up, my brother? Shout out to all my nephews. Glad to know you are. All my work nephews, appreciate you guys. Appreciate you. All the love and support. Appreciate you guys. You know it's a big Thursday. College football started. Everybody's loving it. Everybody's going crazy. They can't wait till this weekend come. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, college football. And next Thursday, pro football starting. Oh, Christmas in September. That's what we call it, right? I remember growing up. You know, I remember when they, when they start cutting the grass, right? You knew it was time for those gases. It was coming. Coach was going to run you. And you knew he going to be ran. Oh, my God. How much is he going to run us? See, back then... Coaches could do what they want to do to you. Dude, we, we had triple sessions, right? When we hit, I, I know sessions, we hit two of them sessions. Second session, third session, we hit. Constant hitting. Because they believe, and I still believe that you, in order to hit, or not a tackle, you have to hit. You just can't wake up on game day and say, no, I'm a tackle. It's going to be so raggedy. And that's why it takes time for these guys to catch up, man. Right? Get, 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 get. Because tackling is, uh, Hitting is muscle memory. You gotta, to, you gotta get used to jabbing the hand and punching and all that stuff. You gotta get used to that. It only happens if you keep doing it over and over. If you don't do them hard stuff, just don't take them to the ground. You have to hit. I believe the lineman always has to get up in there and hit. You ain't gotta cut nobody nine coming kind of step or pull too hard. But them interior linemen, the guards, tackle, nose tackle them guys, they have to hit. That's the way you stay on top of the game. That's where you guys are used to second nature. You're used to hitting. To this day, I'm still used to throwing my hands, right? Just from, from playing ball. Throwing hands, throwing hands. Keep them off your body, right? That's just constant. You'll be doing it the rest of your life because you're so used to doing it. So, we have to make sure, guys, that we are on top of our game. 
for getting our workouts in, guys. Taking time out, getting off them phones, getting off their social media, and take time out for you. This half hour, this 45 minutes is going to be for me. Whoever don't like it, shame on them, because you come first. You have to love yourself before you can love someone else. We talk about this, right? You have to be number one. And whoever around you have to believe, have to understand you are number one. So if they can't understand that, shame on them. Obviously, they don't care too much about you, right? Yes. We're working to get these arms right. Keep them strong. Keep that blood flowing. Biceps, man. That's a great exercise. Everything's flowing, blood flowing. Boom, that's what we're doing. We're doing bias. I like straight bar, I like straight bar curls because it makes the forearms bigger and strong. We don't have to keep worrying about doing these forearm exercises on reverse curls. This does the job right here. See, that's, that's, that's old school teaching. Straight bar curls hit, hit it right there. This is why when, when, when my forearms are so straight, so 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 big. For years, I've been doing, doing this straight bar curls. And that's why I would do easy bar curls or dumbbell curls just to change it up. But my most staple is straight bar curls. Shout out to Angels. Monkey Mark. Brother Jimmy. Scotty Jr. Brother Elijah. Nephew Sean. Sister Alexandra. Sister G. Brother Kyrie. Brother Cairo. Shout out to our angels. Shout out to our angels' parents. God bless you guys. Like I always say, God chose us to have our, have our angels because he knew that we had the love and patience to be able to deal with and handle it. This is why God chose us. To deal with our angels. For those first times, first time watchers, uh, first time watch followers, uh, our angels are our, our chicks, children, or handicapped children. We say every time we come on this channel, we're gonna praise them every time because they're worthy to be praised. This is what we do. So let's give them a shout out, shout out to the angels. Fathers, one thing that we, we I know we get, we get, we get, with the hustling, bustling, bustling, or working, and everything else. If you have, if you have daughters, make sure you show them, show your daughter that love and that attention that they that, that they truly, truly deserve from their father. Make sure you're hugging them. Make sure you're kissing them. Make sure you tell them that you love them. Let you know how beautiful they are, because they are beautiful, because they're yours. They need to know that. They need to know that from you. They need to know all the teaching from father, from the dad. So when they do go into the world. Can't no one throw no wool over their heads. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you hug them. Make sure you love them. Make sure you kiss them. Make sure you call them up and tell them you love them. They need that. That starts, that starts when they're little. That's, that's, that's the culture that we have to set as fathers, right? So so fathers, if you have a, uh, if you don't have a great relationship with your daughter, for whatever reason, go get that relationship with your daughter. Go get that. Go, go get that. Daughters need their fathers. No matter how stubborn they might want to be. No matter how stubborn they might want to be. And fathers, you want to be in their life. No matter how much they don't want you in their life, you need to be in their life. So daughters, let your fathers in. Fathers, go get them. Go hug them. Go love them. Let them know how much you love them. Because it's so needed, guys. Go hug your daughters. Go kiss your daughter. Go let, you know, go let them know you love them. And for whatever, whatever you've done, ask them for forgiveness so you guys can start a new, a better relationship. Because we see time is too short to, for us, for whatever reason, parents and parents are not getting along with the children. Time is too short for that. We don't know who's going to drop, right? Whether it's, whether it's the parent or the kid, right? So for whatever reason, we have to get off our high horse, stop being stubborn. And get and, and get to have a better relationship with our children, right? Better relationship with our daughters, men, fathers. Go have a better relationship with your daughter. Go hug them, go kiss them, let them know you love them. And for whatever reason they have a problem with you, ask for forgiveness. You can't be too humble. I mean, excuse me. You can't have that pride. 
can't get in the way of you having that relationship with your daughter. So now, if they, they, if they not willing to fix it, at least you know that you put that, you put the effort, and you'll keep putting the effort. So hopefully, you know, they've been raised right, and they know about forgiveness. For whatever reason, they don't want a relationship with the father. At least you can say, you know what, I, I try. I try, because no one's perfect. None of us is perfect. So for us to hold a grudge on someone for years, and for us to have a stop having a relationship with someone for whatever reason, it's time for it to stop. It's time for us to grow up and be men. It's time for us to grow, grow up and be young ladies and young women. So that's my father, that's my pops. No matter what's going on, I still need a relationship with my father. That's so important. We need that love. We need that hug. You know what? And, and, and fathers, we, we know we need we, we know we know we need our children. We know we need our kids, our daughters. We need them. And we want that love from them. We want them to pick the phone up and ask how you doing. We want them to ask how you when you coming by. We want that. So that's that was on my spirit tonight, guys. That was on my spirit. So I want to bring that to the table. Uh, I believe it's important for us to have a relationship with our daughters. We have to have a relationship with our daughters. And daughters, hopefully you will accept us for every reason why you don't have it. You know, uh, whether it was because you guys didn't grow up in the same house, for whatever reason. Hatred, whatever you might want to call it. Time for them to let go. A lot of times, if there was two households, sometimes that child might be jealous of the other household, right? And no fault of the parent. But see, they're going to see it the way they want to see it. And hopefully, they have, they have enough forgiveness and realize, you know what? As they get older, they see that it wasn't Pop's fault. You feel me? So hopefully they open up their hearts and give forgiveness and let that father in their heart so that they can have a relationship with each other. Because time is too short. People leaving here left and right, we don't know when the guy's going to tap us on the shoulders and tell us time to come home, right? So, you know, then then after that, then that, that, that daughter or that child will be so upset that they didn't have that relationship with their father. Men, pops, dads, have that relationship with your, with your daughter. Daughter, have that relationship with your father. It's needed. It's needed. Because we are the first men that you see or the first men that you supposed to love right and you want we want you to love your husband for all the right reasons right we want you to be able to say you know what and I, I, I seen the signs of this before my father taught me that about, about this before but if you don't let that if you don't let your dad in he never be able to tell you for whatever reason why you have this heartache why you have this uh this this this, this this hatred or whatever you want to call it. Forgive your pops, forgive your father. Let them into your life. Open arms. Dad, you call and call your daughter up. Tell them that you love her. Tell them that you miss her. Give her a hug. Let her know that she is the best thing that you ever happened to in your life. I'm saying this I, I remember my daughter. I couldn't wait till my daughter was born. Couldn't wait. Couldn't wait. I love her the same as I did when she first was born. Same, even her love is even stronger. I believe she is so much like me. I don't know if it's good or bad, but she's so much like me. And I always talk to her like, never, never tippy-toeing around subjects with her, because she already, she was, she was already 
ahead of her time already, and she listened. She she grew up in she grew up in the hood, so she she was street smart, so she knew what time it was. So I wasn't going to sit there and sugarcoat nothing with her, right? Now today she grew up, she grew up to be a great young woman, strong mentally as well as physically. Have my own mind. No one's getting over on her about nothing. So you know, God bless her. You know, and I just want to keep having a great relationship with her because we know time is time doesn't wait for no one. Time waits for no one. Fathers, go have that relationship with your daughter. Open your arms up to her. Call up and let her know you love her. Call up and let her know you miss her. It's totally needed. They need to know that love from you. So they're not there chasing every time Dick and Harry, right? So they're not chasing every, chasing, looking for love in all the wrong places or for all the wrong reasons. Because it can happen if they're not mentally right. You feel me? So pops, Show them that love. Call them up. Love them. Let them know how much you love them. Let them know how much you miss them. Let them know how much you wish that they were in their lives. Let them, let them know how much you wish they was calling you every day. That's the type of love that a mother, a father, a father and daughter should have. That's the type of love that they should have. I know every father, if he's in his right mind, he's yearning for that. And daughter, stop being so stubborn that you, you, you think you're hurting them. All you're doing is hurting the relationship. Then the long run is going to hurt you because you're going to wish that every day that you don't have him, that you won't miss that he was there in your life. Feel me? CMD, stand up, CMD. Glow Power CMD 72 at gmail.com. That's Glow Power CMD 72 at gmail.com. Anyone want to reach me? Hit me up at my email. Glow Power CMD 72 at gmail.com. That's glowpowercmd72 at gmail.com. And as I know about watching uh, college football tonight, they're having a great time. Enjoy yourself, guys. Enjoy this Labor Day weekend. Lives on my spirit tonight. A lot of, uh, lot of my fathers will have their children going off the couch for the first time maybe this weekend. And uh, you're going to miss her. You're going to miss her. You're so used to your daughter. Daughter's being in the house with you. Time there was a baby all the time they're going to go off to college. It's a different type of, it's a different type of feel. Right? It's a different type of emotion. Because you realize that they're growing up to be young ladies, right? One day they're going to become wives, next mothers, right? So, this is why we say time moves on. Time waits for no one. This is why we try to have that relationship with our daughters, right? Before they go off to college, sit down and have that talk with them. To talk as a Pops the daughter. You know she's a young lady. You're gonna have to trust her. That you raise her in the right way that she knows right from wrong and she knows that she's gonna go off to college and make good decisions, right? We know we our nerves gonna be bad, they're gonna go off to school and and every time you're gonna wonder what's going on, I'm calling up there and sh showing up. Just don't show up to, just don't show up to the to the uh to, to, to the campus. You might get your feelings hurt, all right? So, you know. You know, uh, be able to have that uh, trust because you have talked to her, because you have raised her the right way. You have the relationship with her. You still have the relationship with her the way you can talk to her. And she can talk, She can come to you and talk to you about anything, right? So, guys, hey, new, 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 uh, new part, a new chapter of life starting, right? A new chapter, new chapter of our life is starting when your daughter goes off to college and she's leaving out the house for the first time. Believe me, you're going to miss her. She's going to miss you. She might not want to act like she won't miss you, but she's going to miss you. Because of that relationship that you guys have together. Right? Guys, go out there. 
mend those relationships back with your daughter. If you if you if you, if you, if you have a if you don't have a good relationship with your, your your daughter, go mend that relationship. Mend them fences. It's needed. Somebody gotta be the first one to stop being stubborn, right? And say, hey, whatever I did to hurt you, whatever I did to to lose your trust, whatever, forgive me. And hopefully your daughter will, will step back and say, you know what? I need my father in my life. I'm going to stop being stubborn. You know, and think that I, I don't need him when you do. When you say you need him financially or, 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 or physically, but you need him mentally. Because that's your pops. And that type of relationship that should be having, should, should have. A father and a daughter should have that type of relationship. To where that she can call him up at any time. And talk to him about anything. And he'd be there to protect her. That's what pops are for. Again, thank you for subscribing to the channel. To appreciate you guys. All the ones that have been following and riding with me from day one. Since October 7th, guys. We've been doing things since October 7th. I want to say this is like a 200-some uh, uh, video. We trying, guys. We trying, man. We trying. Hey, keep sharing with your friends. Please hit the like button, guys. Keep hitting the bell so you guys know every time we upload. You guys know, hey, Doug, Dougie. D -D -Dougie, got his, Dougie uh, just love the Lord one. And there's always going to be something positive, guys. It would be nothing number one negative. Because there's enough negativity in the world already today. Again, thank you for meeting, meeting Miss uh, meeting, uh, Malaysia today. It was, it was nice meeting you today. Keep doing what you're doing with them, with, with them children, uh, teaching. Keep doing what you're doing. We need, great more, we need more great teachers in this world. Keep doing what you're doing. That's a, that's a, that's a selfish profession. We know how it's needed. We know how it's needed to set the culture for our kids, right? The foundation for our kids, for where they can start learning, right? Good teachers mean you have smart students, right? We want teachers to be able to go into the school system and want to teach our children the right way so they can get that good education, right? We need that. Hey, we need our grandkids and our kids need that. So let's keep on. And we see a teacher, man, you sit down, what are you talking about? Uh, to tell service people to, um, or uh, law enforcement, thank you for your services to the teachers. Thank you for your services. So we appreciate you guys. Get another set in. I'll let you guys go. I know you guys want to finish watching your uh, college football game tonight. I know it's heavy, heavy. Nebraska's on against Minnesota. Oh, uh, some other games are on right now too. Right, uh, Florida's on with Utah. So I know you guys want to watch those games. Uh, but let's get another one. Another one sets in. We'll get this up. Pop the channel. I get the Eric. Hope you get some rest, Eric. God bless you, Eric. Get some rest, man. Love you, brother. Get better. You know we love you, man. We all, we all. Are praying for you. We all are rooting for you. Because you're always there for everybody else. Now it's time for us to be there for you. You deserve it, brother. Get your rest. Get to our center. To Lorenzo Tribbett II. Shout out to you, my brother. Marcy, Patricia, Renee. Thank you, Sean. Shout out to you guys. Love you guys. Gotta be safe. Hope you guys are enjoying the channel. I'm enjoying doing it. Keeps me going, man. Keeps me healthy. All about getting that blood flow. Again, what we had, had our beets, had our kale, had our peanut butter, protein powder, our blueberries, right? Diet cranberry juice, a little cinnamon, bananas, and our and our on our smoothie. You want it as a smoothie, guys. You don't want it as, a, as, as you don't want to be juicing. This is not for juicing. This is for a smoothie, so we can get that so we can swirl, swirl around the. Uh, the smoothie and on our tongue and underneath our tongue so we can turn, turn the nitrates into nitric oxide. This is what we tell you not to uh, mess with mouthwash, right? Leave the, mouth, mouth, leave the mouthwash alone. Right? So remember, make sure we get our protein in before I work out, after I work out. So why? The protein is going to the muscle to heal the muscles because we just, we just, we just tore them up, tore them up from working out, right? Remember, you have to have a carbohydrate with the protein pound, right? With the protein. The carbohydrate takes the protein to the muscle so it can heal. 
That's the only way protein gets to the muscle. My carbohydrate carries the carries the protein to the muscle. You feel me? Thank you guys. Love you guys. You guys be safe. We'll see you guys on the channel next time. Peace. One love.